Are you looking for a van to deliver your mail? Well, here on Crafty Fox Blue, we're going to be building the United States Postal Service USPS mail truck delivery van. And I'm not quite sure what model this is supposed to be or who manufactured it, but this is pretty common to see, at least in my neighborhood. You can see this around. And funny enough, it uses like wheels the size of like regular car wheels. That's what I've noticed. Uh, but if you guys know what exactly this model is called, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Now, this is actually a redesign of this older one right over here. I made a mail carrier van pack. It had like USBS, FedEx, UPS, and DHL. And as you can see, it's quite smaller. It's uh, three blocks wide. So I guess it's like closer to what it would look like in one to one scale. Uh, but yeah, this is a 1.5 to 1 scale, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So first we'll grab another brick slab, black wool, stone button, smooth quartz slab, smooth stone slab, and then um, polished black stone brick stairs, white glass pane, smooth quartz block, and bedrock. All right, so first off, we're gonna add in um, nether brick slabs. It's gonna be hovering above the ground. We're gonna make it four blocks wide. And behind it, we're gonna add in a pair of black wool on the edges. Then we'll add in the middle part. We're gonna make this nether brick slab 11 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11. And make the back four blocks wide. Then I'm going to add in two smooth quartz slabs here, black wool, and other side will do the same thing. All right, next up, we're going to go in the front, add in smooth quartz slab, and then smooth stone slab, and then smooth quartz slab for the rest. And the other side, we're going to do the same exact thing. And on top of this smooth stone slab, we'll add in a white glass pane. Then next on the inside of this, I'm going to make two blocks wide, smooth quartz, block, and in the front, I'm going to add two blocks wide, bedrock. Then we're going to add in a uh, smooth quartz block, three blocks long to the side. And then skip that pane and add in another three. Skip this wheel and add in another two. Other side, we're going to do the same exact thing. And then we're going to add in stone buttons for the headlights in the front and also the sides of the front wheel. Then I'm going to add in a row of four smooth quartz slabs at the front. And then behind, we're going to add in black concrete inside here, two blocks wide, and I'm going to add another one to the edges like that. And then the inside of this, we're going to make a two by two by two. So two by two, that's two blocks tall like this. And then next, we're going to add in uh, birch trap door in the middle of this and we want to make sure that they are opened up together so you got this center pillar like that and then we're going to add in black concrete to the side of this I'm actually going to delete these middle two black concretes and we're going to place in another one of these um, trap doors here like that and then on top of this we're going to add in uh, four blocks wide of smooth quartz slab Next up, we're going to add in a row of black glass pane right in the front of this. Next up, we'll go in to the side here. We'll add in an acacia slab, two blocks long. And then polished blackstone brick stairs right above that back wheel. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Next up, in the back wheel, we'll add in a pair of these birch buttons like this. And then we'll take out uh, this quartz pillar and regular smooth quartz. So Alright, so next we're going to take quartz pillar. We're going to add two blocks wide in the back here. And then on top we're going to add two blocks wide acacia slabs. And behind that quartz pillar, two blocks. Trying to make it horizontally. And then on top of that we'll add in... Uh, blue concrete like this and then two facing each other upside down quartz stairs and then next up on top we're going to add in four blocks wide smooth quartz slab and we're going to connect that with the front 
all the way across. All right, so next up, we'll add in smooth quartz right over here, two blocks tall, both sides. And then we're gonna make a smooth quartz slab over here, and then two blocks tall, smooth quartz. Other side, we'll do the same thing. And then we'll add in an acacia slab right above these stairs like that. And then we'll add in this warped slab dangling up from that in the back. The rest of this row is going to be uh, smooth quartz and including inside that slab. And we'll also add in a blue concrete right here in the front. Smooth quartz for the rest. And then we'll add in a birch bun to the side of that blue concrete. Alright, so next up in the back we'll add in an oak button and then acacia button underneath right on the edges for the tail lights and an additional dark oak button right on this door. All right, then to the side, we'll add in a birch, I mean, wart buttons, a pair like this, and then a lever over here. While the other side, skip a block and add in two wart buttons like that. Then next up in the front, we'll add in a dark oak button and then a acacia button. Right there. And once we're done with that, we'll add in an iron bar right to the side of this. It's going to be a side view mirror. And we'll add an additional um, skeleton skull right over here diagonally from the main body like that. It's so also a mirror. And there is a mirror here in the back. It would go dangling up from that lever. So it should be, I guess, pretty close to the body like this. That's how I did it. And then next up, we'll need to add in um, the banners. So for the banners for this, we're going to go to our loom. And we're going to take out, oh, let's see, what which one I use, a red banner. So get our red banner, and then white dye, and then blue dye. So go inside our loom, put a red banner in. We're going to add in a blue dye. It's going to go across the bottom half, put it back in. And I'm going to add white dye. I'm going to go across the top half, the bottom half, and then the middle. And that's how you make this USBS banner. And I'm going to add in a line across. Right over here, all the exposed areas, you just fill that in, including this part here. And the other side will do the same thing pretty much. So it should be a five first side. It should look like that very nice so far. So uh, let's take a 360 view of the build to see if we're all done with it. And I think we are. So yeah, that's actually pretty much it on how to build a USPS delivery van or truck in Minecraft. I don't know what exactly to call this since I don't know what the model is. If you guys do know what the model is called, let me know in the comment section down below because I can't find any information what the name is. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you had already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.